a material has been created that can count. Dutch scientists have developed a flexible material that can count to ten and even remember how many times it has been pressed. This research shows that inanimate objects do not always need sophisticated integrated circuits to perform mathematical tasks. Some time ago, materials that have the so-called shape memory effect it consists in the fact that in response to a suitable temperature or magnetic field, the material returns to its original shape. Now, Dutch researchers have developed a material that can count up to 10 and remember how many times it's been pressed. The physicists Martin van Heck and Leonard Quackernaak from Leiden University in the Netherlands are behind the new material. The description and results of their research were published in the journal Physical Review Letters. A piece of sufficiently flexible material can be endowed with very interesting properties. This was proved by researchers from Leiden in the Netherlands. They presented a material that counts the cycles of pressing it and stores the result in an easy-to-interpret diagram. It looks inconspicuous just a piece of rubber with 22 posts. However, when pressed, the pillars bend to the left, except for the first one, which bends to the right. The first bar then moves the next bar to the right and moves one position each time the material is pressed. In this way, the gum can count and keep the score. Van Heck and his colleagues are exploring how simple materials can be used to process information, a bit like a computer. The presented piece of rubber is an example of this. A bar that moves from left to right can be compared to a computer bit that is either 0 or 1. It is not easy to design the structure so that it reacts the way we want. Counting is the simplest task we could think of. So it was a logical starting point. In developing such material, one tries to discover the rules of the game. What's allowed? The rule in this case concerns the contact of the post with its immediate neighbors explains Quackernark. The newly developed material is scalable, but that's not all. An inconspicuous piece of rubber can do more.
It can distinguish the pressure force by recording each pressure separately. In our research, we've established that you can induce different responses in the rubber by pressing with different levels of force. By experimenting with this, we've been able to create a metamaterial that only counts when you press it in the right order, with the right amount of force. In other words, sort of like a castle, said the Quaker Nark. One of the possible applications is counting cars of different weight classes crossing, for example, a bridge. It can also be used as a pedometer. The material can be given a different size as is suitable for the suggested solution. The big advantage is that such mechanical metamaterials are cheap, robust and easy to maintain, Quackernock said. This makes them interesting for all kinds of uses. It's hard to say exactly what these applications will be, but we always find a target for new materials like this one. For example, Previous research on a material that folds like origami inspired the development of foldable solar panels mounted on satellites, he added. Artificial intelligence discovers unknown components of human cells. Newly developed AI-based technology has uncovered previously unknown structures in our cells that could provide new clues about human development and disease. According to the researchers, this could be a breakthrough in medicine. By combining microscopy, biochemistry techniques and artificial intelligence algorithms, Researchers at the University of California San Diego School of Medicine have made what they believe could be a significant leap forward in understanding how human cells work. They have developed a tool that allows you to know the structure and arrangement of individual elements of the cell. Most human diseases can be traced to malfunctioning parts of cells. For example, a tumor develops because gene expression, that is, the production of a specific protein based on a gene, has not gone right. Metabolic diseases, on the other hand, arise due to the malfunctioning of the mitochondria.
To fully understand which parts of a cell might be failing, scientists first need to understand its complete structure. When we think of a cell, we probably think of a colorful diagram from a school biology textbook. It contains the nucleus, mitochondria, cytoplasm and endoplasmic reticulum. But is that all we find in the cell? Definitely not says Professor Trey Idica of UC San Diego School of Medicine and Morse Cancer Center. Scientists have long realized that there is more to cells that we don't know than what we do know. Now we have a tool to look even deeper, he emphasizes. Professor Idica led the research together with Dr. Emma Lundbury of the KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. The new technique, dubbed multi-scale integrated cell music, is described in the journal Nature. Already in a pilot study, Music revealed about 70 components contained in human kidney cells, half of which had never been described before. For example, researchers spotted a group of proteins forming an unknown structure. They eventually determined that this structure is a novel complex of RNA binding proteins that enable the translation of genes into proteins and help determine the time when certain genes are activated. Research into what's inside cells has been done basically in two ways so far. The first technique is microscopic imaging, which adds different colored fluorescent tags to proteins to track their movements and relationships. The second method is the use of antibodies specific for a given protein, which makes it possible to pull it out of the cell and check its structure under a microscope. The San Diego team has been trying to create a complete map of the cell's interior for many years. Now, music uses deep machine learning algorithms to accurately read the structure of a cell directly from microscopic images. The combination of these technologies is unique and powerful. For the first time, we are combining measurements made at very different scales says study co-author Yue Chin, who works in bioinformatics and systems biology at IDECA's laboratory. Microscopes allow scientists to observe a cell and its components down to about a single micrometer, the size of some organelles such as mitochondria smaller structures, such as individual proteins and protein complexes, can no longer be seen with a microscope. Thanks to biochemical techniques, it is possible to observe individual proteins whose size is measured on the nanometer scale. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter or one thousandth of a micrometer. But how to bridge the gap between the nanometer and micrometer scale? 
It has been a great challenge in biological sciences for a long time, says Professor Idika, who is also the founder of the UC Cancer Cell Map Initiative and the UC San Diego Center for Computational Biology and Bioinformatics. It turns out that this can be done using artificial intelligence, using data from many sources and programming the system so that it folds the data into a cell model, he explains. The team spent some time refining the software and training the AI in processing cell data. Music does not yet map the contents of a cell to specific locations. Because the location of its various components is not necessarily fixed, Professor Idika emphasizes that the study described in the latest article was a pilot study. It was designed to test music and the algorithm only looked at 661 proteins and one cell type. The next step will be to study the entire human cell and all its components, says Professor Idika. Then we'll move on to research on different types of human cells and then on to research on cells from other species. Eventually, we will be able to better understand the molecular basis of many diseases by comparing the differences between healthy and diseased cells.